Okay, yes. I'd like to bring the regular meeting in the Zion Park District, uh, January 21st, 2016, to order. Uh, Eric, please read the roll call. Commissioner McGarrah? Here. Commissioner Buckholtz? Here. Commissioner Brown? Commissioner Pye? Here. President Hartman? Here. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the personal sub finance subcommittee meeting and the regular meeting of the Zion Park District dated 17 December 2015. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of the personnel and finance <coughs> subcommittee meeting of the Board of Commissioners um, on, oh, and the, what's the other one? Regular All the regular meeting minutes from uh, December 17th, 2015. Do I have a second? I will second that. All right. Secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Pye? Here. Commissioner Buckholtz? Aye. Commissioner McGarrah? Aye. President Hartman? Aye. Okay. All right. Um, we will have to go to a executive session. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Anything other mm -hmm. needs to change on the agenda other than the executive yes, session, Marilyn? It won't fit in there. No. Okay. All right. Any uh, comments from the commissioners? Okay. All right. Nothing from the attorney? No. Okay. All right. Uh, I will entertain a motion to approve the unpaid bills. I make a motion to pay the unpaid bills of seven thousand three hundred eight fifty six. Okay, do I have a second? Uh, I'll make a I'll second that. All right, secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Buckholtz. Aye. Commissioner Pye. Aye. Commissioner McGarrah? Aye. President Hartman? Aye. All right. Um, now we'll go to the director's report. Okay. In addition to my written report um, and in your packets, I did add a couple of things. I didn't put anything in there about the taxing body work group, but just wanted to update you on what's happening with that. We, um, we have been having meetings for the taxing bodies all together. Bill and I have been going to those meetings. Um, we have created a subgroup that Eric and I are actually going to be working on with the other taxing body um, staff and it's, it's still staff and commissioners for some but more staff to do some specific work and one of the things that we're working on is a letter to um, garner support uh, what we have identified as a possible way for us to get some of the federal dollars that have been set aside for nuclear um, facilities that have closed. Um, there was a fund that was created in, I remember what year it was? It was a while ago, like when they first were doing nuclear power. They set aside funds and it was paid in by those who, customers who were utilizing nuclear power through ComEd on their bill. They paid dollars in and they're sitting in a federal fund. Um, for just the situation that has happened here, there's storage of nuclear facility or nuclear waste here because they have nowhere to put it and it's impacting the economy of this community since the. Um, nuclear power plant has shut down and is now being decommissioned. Um, so uh, we had a consultant come in, an attorney who um, works on, um, he's a labor attorney, I think for the most part, works with school districts um, on negotiations. Um, but he came in to talk about what is the best option for Zion to do in this election year. Uh, to try and capture some of those federal dollars because the state of Illinois obviously has no money. So even if we go to Springfield, 
there's nothing to get there because the state has no money. So really going after these federal dollars is the way to, um, to go for us as taxing bodies. So that we're putting together a letter that's going to go out to um, all the organizations that are affected by the blight in this community created by the nuclear power uh, plant decommissioning first off and then leaving spent fuel on the site, uh, which leaves us very little capacity to um, do any kind of economic driver on that property, which Lakefront is probably the most um, lucrative place to do that. Mm -hmm. And so we have been identifying who are those groups, you know, the um, for the park district it's kind of more grassroots. We have individual families, we have um, <coughs> just our senior citizens and you know those are really more individuals but in some of the um, taxing bodies in the school districts you know they have unions for their teachers and they have unions for their other employees so those are big groups of people who can if they join in on this effort that's a bigger voice to someone like Mark Kirk or um, uh, don't, um, yeah Dole, Dole. Um, and those guys especially because in our district there's such a um, uh, it's really up for grabs between the this Democrats is, yeah. and the Republicans. This is going to be a big election. A big election, Very yeah, big. Of who is going to take control of this district that we are in. Both state and federal. Right. Um, so we're really just trying to get broad-based support for saying, you know, we're just asking for money that's sitting there that they really identified long ago mm -hmm. as something that was going to be a need, and now we have that need here in this community. So I just wanted to update you on that's what's happening with that work group. Is that a one-time, a one-time try and get this money, or is this like an ongoing? Well, we would hope that we would uh, request it to be uh, more than just a one-time shot. So you know, have some impact on this community for you know maybe a five-year period or. Mm -hmm. And who's determining the amount of money that, that... It's being determined based upon... There are some specifics that they're There's using some, yeah. to base it on the storage capacity that's here and the impact from what the nuclear power, you know, what the tax rate, how it has dropped. So there is some, mm -hmm. some formula that they're using to do that. So in the letter it said $15 million. Mm -hmm. So we would hope we would get $15 million for, um, you know, at minimum a five-year period. Mm -hmm. That would place all of the taxing bodies on some kind of an even footing to get the rate to come down so we could actually bring in businesses. Right. Because the tax rate being so high is what is really mm -hmm. affecting that ability. Right. Right. And I will, I will say one thing. Um, my hat's off to Mayor Hill. I mean, the guy is just absolutely uh, a dream come true yeah. to this town. And, um, you know, if you see him in the streets or you see him somewhere, thank him. Because I'll tell you, I feel very optimistic that things are going to turn around very quickly with him at the helm. And uh, I know from the Park District standpoint, we are standing behind him 110%. So, um, and Marilyn and Eric, I mean, they, they got some tough jobs ahead of them. But uh, I, I, again, feel very confident that, um, you know, with these little meetings and things that are going on, that er everything's going to come to our favor. And I, I truly, truly, truly believe that. So, again, at, at Mayor Hill's just been doing a bang-up job. And, and, Marilyn, you have, too. I mean, I've watched you in action at those meetings, and I, I think everything's starting to come together. I really do. Well, we're working in one direction, and, you know, there is there is – some possibility you know I mean politics is politics so yeah. that is going to enter into it um, it is going to there is going to be probably some cost to us but mm -hmm. it's going to be spread across the group and it's going to be spread according to what our percentage of the tax rate is so the park district is six percent so really in the scheme of things it's probably going to be a more minimal cost for us but if we're going to be in we need to be all in mm -hmm. right. so um, that's why I wanted to make you aware of that also. Um, but right now we're looking at um, that very 
very small amount of dollars that hopefully will bring in uh, sizable. Because yeah. if there's $15 million, again, 6% of that is what right. our share would be. You know, we're not going to get more than, <coughs> we're just going to get what. What is that, Eric, your calculator? What would that be? 6% of $15 million? That's a pretty good chunk of change. Yeah, 900000 so if we had nine hundred thousand dollars more five years. for five years, it, it would a, make a very huge difference for us. Yeah, that would mm -hmm. definitely help us out a lot. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Yeah. Well, and you know, and, and like I said, you know, it's everybody. So if the schools oh, yeah. had that opportunity, think about <coughs> the opportunities that they could give to the to the kids in our community, and it wouldn't be a burden upon the taxpayers. Right. You could actually reduce the burden to the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know that's the benefit mm -hmm. to this community. And, and again, I feel very optimistic that things are going in the right direction. Well, yeah, we're going to start. This is a starting place. Um, so, so that's what we're working on. Um, that's nine hundred thousand that would be paid off, like in a five-year period. I think you just said that you're not. It would be nine hundred thousand per, per annually year for, for oh, however yeah. for five however times. many years. Wow, yeah. I'm just thinking mm -hmm. nine hundred thousand no. in, in a five-year period. No. That's no. Even better. Yeah. Right. That's per year. Yeah, that would be a big Yeah, that would be a big change for us. Um, yep, that would definitely help out. So, that's <coughs> going on there. And the next thing I have on there is gaming at Shepherd's Crook. I did put a sheet of paper in your packet. So it starts at the top with Universal Gaming, Joanne, Sh Joanne Shapiro. Um, these two companies approached us about putting gaming machines at Shepherd's Crook. Um, and really what I'm interested in is if you think it's a good idea or or not before we pursue it any further. We did find some things out. This is kind of some numbers of what other park district, or what, not park district, what other golf courses have been doing that are closed in the off season. If they don't have a restaurant that's mm -hmm, open all mm -hmm. the time or, you know, in their clubhouse. So I wanted to compare apples to apples. You know, there's a lot of, um, like North Chicago, Foss Park District has games in their clubhouse, but their clubhouse is open and they do for food service and their bar is open <coughs> all the time. Um, even when golf operations are, are closed, down. closed down for the winter. Um, <coughs> And this isn't saying that we're going to do this, but you know, maybe look at what are the pros and cons of it. We would have to change our operation somewhat. If we're gonna invite people in there and have gaming machines open, we'd have to be open. Mm -hmm. If we're open, um, we would probably have to have food service and uh, there's a license through, the, <coughs> through Zion. And then there's also a state license that you have to go through process, a state licensing process. So it's, you know, this isn't something we're going to do overnight. But I really, before we went any further, we listened to their, you know, their, what they can do for us. These the gaming companies, yeah, the presentation. <coughs> uh, but I really wanted to know if, you know, if this is a pro or con for <coughs> you guys, you know, um, just. What do, you, what do you think about moving forward on it? This uh, at City Council, I know if you were guys were at the City Council, they had they went through this, and the people of Zion were all up there. I, I was all for it because they were Al was showing what went to Harbor Beach Park and Wadsworth, the thousands of dollars they're bringing in, and Zion bringing in zilch. Mm -hmm. And I and I it was and I said it was going to be for taxpayers. We all live here, Zion. We pay taxes. I was all for it. This is this I, Yeah, I agree. I think this is a win. This is a no point of this be an excellent opportunity to make more money. Okay, because well, they're going to spend it somewhere, why not spend it here? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So the only yes. thing for us is, you know, just change in operation. There will be expenses also to having the clubhouse yeah. open more often. Um, but we can program around that, you know, that we Gotta have take dinner or Gotta we have, you know, you can come and have that. lunch and put a yeah. couple dollars in, right. or you yeah. could stop on your way home from work when Green Bay Road is backed up and you Just run right in, in there. So do you advertise it as a gaming place? Do you advertise it as a gaming place? Is that, or yeah. how do, mm -hmm. Yes, well, if people win it there, don't we get a percentage also? Yeah, so the way that that works is that 
the we would get thirty five percent. No, twenty five. Twenty five percent. Thirty-five. Thirty-five percent of whatever the profit is. The gaming company gets thirty-five percent. The state gets maybe I can't remember twenty-five. Twenty-five percent, and the city gets five percent. So that's how the dollars are divided. Yeah. So yes, you know, and it's gambling. So you know, I people think win, people lose. You know, the machine. Well, the thing are that was brought up at the city council was the gambling <coughs> anonymous, like with alcoholics anonymous and drug anonymous. They're going to do it no matter what. The people are going to. And there's people out there that like to gamble. And yeah, Eric and I, Eric yeah. and I went to a couple of places just to see him. Yeah. So there's one at the gas station on 41 and. Yep. No, right there, 173. Right. So yep. we stopped there just to see what it looked like, you know, see how they had it set up. And it was actually pretty nice in there, Yeah, the way their setup was. But then we went to the gas station at the corner of Wadsworth, Wadsworth and 41. 41. And oh my gosh. Wasn't that's, that good? That's quite the, no, there's just like a partial wall there oh. and they're against the windows and people are coming and going and it was. It and was at both places it was, I don't know. You know, Tuesday afternoon at one o'clock. Well, the shop local thing. I shot those pictures today at the, the little shop at local Lindus. thing at Linda's, and uh, they were in the back uh, back room. Do they off. have them at Linda's? Yeah, it's all in yeah. You can't see it, but it's all they got on their people. Were there people, there. people were there. Yeah, well, I, I think it's a win-win for us. I, I really do. I think okay, so what the next step is is that we they would from Kenosha, those people. choose That's one of these companies yeah. to work That's with, definitely good. and then do a contract. So, yeah. do you know anybody that has these? Any these of the two? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. There, no. Oh, well, okay. they did give us some. They did okay. give us some <coughs> references, so mm -hmm. we could check those. Um, but we'll be we'll be bringing back a contract before we ever do anything further. Yeah. I, tonight was just to kind of find just out if everybody the, was smooth the waters. Well, if everybody was right. thinking this was a good idea, or if somebody had some major objection that we should talk about, because you know it, it can be a. I mean, the only thing that I'm thinking of is: are, are, are we making people of this community lose their money well, by gambling? Well, I don't know. Wait, well, no. They will go to Wisconsin no matter what. Okay, I'm just breaking it down. No, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point, Cheryl. I mean, really. Yeah. But, I, again, I think it's a win-win for oh, that's the That's the thing the city council when they talk about yeah, it. With the Harbor Beach Park, we want <laughs> thousands of dollars. And Zion says, forget to Zion. I think they have them. They have them at timeout, right? Because I, I don't know. Yeah. They, they do have them at the time out. And I noticed that they were hanging signs like, I was in there having dinner, and they were hanging like signs on it saying, This is reserved they, so they could go and eat and nobody could take their machine. Well, <laughs> well you know why? Why? Because a guy put $1,000 in it, he walks away, and the next person puts a quarter in it. He yeah. wins. He wins. The place goes <laughs> up. And how I'm many times does that happen? Me too. I wouldn't allow that to happen. Me too. I, 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 yeah, I was kind of surprised. That's, but, that's, 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 yeah. We'll have to uh, talk be, about those kinds of issues. It <laughs> would be a win for us. <coughs> totally. Like, there's a we job spend some money to make money. Yeah, it's not much of a. Twenty third Street in Sheridan. There's one there by that, that the grocery store, mm -hmm. by the like twenty third and Sheridan Road there on the corner, the the uh, northwest corner. They got down in the old bowling alley there. They're putting one in. They down by the video store. Yeah, there. are any of the ones in Zion open yet? Not yet. You know? Not okay, yet. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if there um, was one open in Zion. I know because they're asking. They're open. Pictures, yeah, so. they're opening. Them, I know. Yeah. I think any kids might get couple. Uh, and the new so one. That's a nice place. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Sounds that's good. all I have to add to my report. <coughs> any commissioners have any comments or questions? Um, I guess just about that after school programming that's working all, everything's worked out good. Yes, we did the finalize okay. the agreement with the school district. Mm -hmm. Kay is in the process of uh, interviewing staff and. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a win-win for both sides. That's the after school group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. after school school I'm sorry, didn't hear your question. That's the after that we were talking about before for the, the after school, school program. The, what's that called? It's a club. What's that club called? The, it's after school. Boys yeah. and girls. Thank you, boys and girls. Oh, taking the place of boys and yeah. girls club. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're being notified. <coughs> so they know. Yeah, actually, I think they The date is, the date to take it over is February 29th. That's our goal. So and it's going it well, be you know. Where's it going to be at? It's going to be at the schools. Central, oh, okay. Central, Beulah, and Elmwood. And East is part of that, but East gets bus to Elmwood. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, um, yes, it's going well, and we did, we did, they did work well with us to get that agreement finalized, and, and we were very happy with the results, so good. We're, we're good yeah. on that. Thanks, Cheryl, for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> any other comments or questions? All right. Next thing on the list is the uh, golf cart lease bid, Maryland. Mm -hmm. There's no papers. <coughs> oh, she's going to pass it. one for each of you. Um, we did go out to bid for lease of golf carts. Uh, we had had Harris golf cars. Um, the original bid, I think, was nine years ago, and that lease had been extended twice. And um, I really felt like it was important to go out and see um, if we were getting the best deal that we could, since we had. We are. Um, well, yes, there's a big difference between the two companies here, so. Um, it's kind of a no, you know, it's kind of easy to make a decision on, on which one of these companies that we should go with. Is there a reason why there's such a big... Um, Harris really was aggressive on theirs, and I think that Club Car, which is Nadler, they use Club Car, so that's a different <coughs> part manufacturer that they are affiliated with. I think they are just a more expensive product. Um, I think that they tried to come in with a good bid also but it, and, but Harris uh, really came in with a good price um, we had talked about maybe even just extending the, the lease on the cars that we currently have um, but after we got this for new carts we're really looking yeah, at definitely. going with new carts because a um, I think that the impact on our golfers will be really great if we have new carts out there mm -hmm. it's gonna it's gonna really impress some people that you know we're doing it right because these have been the same ones for long mm -hmm. long time. nine years <coughs> yeah so um, and for the difference in what it's gonna cost us um, we really think that we can really you know it's gonna have an impact a positive impact and the dollars are gonna be not minimal but you know, from what we were paying for the nine-year-old carts to having new carts, there, there is going to be a jump there, but that it's it's reasonable to do it. Are this, is that the basic color, the green, or do they come in different shades? No, like we have, they. there's like five standard colors you don't have to pay extra for. So there's, on, on Harris, there is, I think green is what they, Picked when they opened Shepherd's. That's why those green are green. Grass, yeah. 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 Glacier, which I think is white. Sunstone, which I think is tan. Emerald, which is green. Tanzanite, which I'm not sure what color tanzanite is. It might be a gray. You know? Is that gray? Tanzanite. I look like a jeweler. <laughs> no. And garnet, which I believe is red. Um, I said, can't they just put. Yeah, red, green. Just the color, blue. Yeah, oh, red, it oh, has to sound fancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think we would continue with the green carts. It's it's a nice color. It will be a new green. Yeah. Brand new green. It will green. be a brand new green. Yeah. With no scratches on it. Right. <laughs> right. And um, so um, we do need to have a motion, motion to accept the Harris bid. But that is the recommendation of the okay. staff. All right. Any commissioners have any questions? All right. I will entertain a motion to approve the bid for Harris Golf Cart. I will make a motion to approve the um, Harris Golf Cart bid. I'll second that. All right. Motion. Secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Pye? Aye. Commissioner Buckholtz? Aye. 
Commissioner McGarra? Aye. President Hartman? Aye. All right, IAP, IAPD annual membership. Yeah, I put the letter in there from Peter Murphy. Um, you know, we've had an IAPD membership for a long time. I think that it's a valuable organization to us, and being a member of it is important. So we just need a motion to approve moving forward with um, renewing our membership unless there's any questions. The, the rate has not increased. They have kept it the same. And they've kept it the same for the past at least three years that I've been. Part. Yeah. Um, All right. Any questions from the commissioners? One question. Mm -hmm. How, well, is this a one year deal mm -hmm. or it's, one three year deal? No, it's one. Can we do a three year deal or no? No. So they we've do, already they, done this every year, we've done this. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just keep renewing it each year. <coughs> no, they don't want, I, I'm sure that the, everyone just does it as a one year. I don't know if that's a requirement, but that's how IAPD does it. Mm. Okay. All right, any other further questions? All right, then I'm going to entertain a motion to approve the IAPD annual membership for one year. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the one year of membership for IAPAD. So I just give IAPD. All right, I have a second. Okay, uh, Secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Buckholtz? Aye. Commissioner McGarrah? Aye. Commissioner Pye? Aye. President Hartman. Aye. All right. Next on the list is NRPA annual membership. Mayor. Okay. Same thing. Um, we have been doing a premier membership, which gives us the opportunity for all full-time staff and commissioners to be a member of NRPA. <coughs> this is the National Association of Parks and Recreation. Um, Uh, no, this? There, there's not a handout. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the it's, they gave you a calendar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need something to get chats. There's not a handout. <laughs> there's just discussion on renewing that membership. It is due in February, I believe. So I wanted to get it done at this meeting. If everyone is in um, in uh, agreement with ex with just that's again a one year. Um, association fee uh, to join NRPA and um, I, I think it's a value to us as an organization uh, parks and recreation okay so I would recommend that we any questions from the commissioners mm -hmm. all right I will then entertain a motion to approve the M NRPA annual membership for one year do I have a motion I'll make a motion to approve the one-year membership for the NRPA. I right. would second. second it. Second. All right, Secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Pai? Aye. Commissioner McGarrah? Aye. Commissioner Buckholtz? Aye. President Hartman? Aye. That would have said that. I would have said the NRA. <coughs> NRPA. <Yeah. laughs> okay, next I will entertain a motion to go into the executive session. Motion to go into executive session. Oh, I'll make an uh, motion to go into executive session for the purpose of the board discussing the appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of employees or official pursuant to section 2C1 of the Illinois Open Meeting Act. All right, do I have a second? All right, Secretary, please read the roll call. Commissioner Buckholtz? Aye. Commissioner McGarrah? Aye. Commissioner Pye? Aye. President Hartman? Aye. 